Hi, this is Pat Tolbert. Welcome to the Medicare Hospice Benefit portion of the Cardiopulmonary Rehab Education Series. Michelle and I have compiled information to help you have a better understanding of this benefit. What is the Medicare Hospice Benefit? I often ask patients what they think of when they hear hospice. The question is often answered in two ways. One is dying, and the other is I never heard of it. Specifically, hospice is the name of an insurance benefit specifically designed for patients who have life-limiting illness. This illness can include heart, lung, kidney, liver, neurological, and cancer-type diseases. Nearly all insurances follow the same guidelines put in place by Medicare to provide supportive services that are covered at 100%. Hospice is not a place or a company. It is an insurance benefit that any healthcare provider can order and any Medicare certified company can provide if you meet the criteria for eligibility. Hospice care is supportive, not curative. The beneficiary, the patient, waives the right to Medicare payment for treatment of the terminal illness except for services covered by the hospice. For example, if you are a CHF patient and you go to a CHF clinic, this is not curative, this is supportive. Hospice can do the same thing at home. They can periodically check your labs, watch your weight, and adjust your water pills, diuretics, as needed. For COPD, they can spot check your O2, adjust or change your medications and inhalers, treat exacerbations of your COPD with steroids and or antibiotics, all of these things are supportive care of your disease. They are not curative measures. What does the hospice benefit provide? The hospice benefit provides a wide range of services specific to your illness, situation, and needs. It provides nursing services at a minimum of at least one nursing visit every 14 days. The frequency of nursing visits will be determined by your needs based on nursing assessments and physician determination. A home health aide may be assigned to provide personal care and caregiver education. The benefit also covers medications and medical equipment related to your life-limiting illness, symptoms, and comfort, such as a hospital bed, overbed table, oxygen, and a bedside commode. Symptoms and comfort include things like pain, nausea, vomiting, anxiety, constipation, diarrhea, shortness of breath. The hospice care team offers social and emotional spiritual support for patients and their families or caregivers with a robust team approach, including social workers, spiritual care providers, and physicians. If you are eligible and wish to avoid hospitalizations, prefer to remain at home, hospice is the best health care resource to meet your needs. What does the hospice benefit not provide? The hospice benefit does not pay for your place of care. For example, it does not pay your rent, your mortgage, or your room and board fees if you're in a nursing facility. Hospice, hospice benefit does not provide 24-hour care in your place of care. However, hospice providers do have 24-hour phone service and may send a team member to your home at any time if indicated by assessment of the situation. This is a very unique feature of hospice care. Most healthcare providers and services have off hours and will give a directive to call 911 and seek emergency medical treatment. The goal of the hospice benefit is to eliminate or reduce the need for hospitalizations, support you and your caregivers, and emphasize, emphasize comfort in the setting of your choice at home or in a facility. How do you know if you're eligible for the hospice benefit? The general statement of eligibility for hospice benefit is a terminal illness with a life expectancy of six or fewer months if the illness runs its normal course. An illness running its course at times is very predictable and at other times very unpredictable. An illness may be complicated by other medical conditions. These conditions could include delirium, pneumonia, and wounds. There could be other illnesses separate from your primary illness that cause further complications and decrease your life expectancy. Progressive diseases that are generally eligible for hospice care during late stages include cardiovascular, lung, liver, kidneys, cancers, 
dementia, Parkinson's, Lou Gehrig's, multiple sclerosis, HIV, among other things. How do you get started? Number one, do you have a chronic or incurable disease? Are you having frequent hospitalizations or emergency room visits? Has your quality of life decreased due to treatments or side effects of medications? Are you less mobile, spending more time in chair or in bed? Is your family or caregiver finding it more difficult to meet your care needs? Any of these could be an indication that you may be eligible for hospice care. Your primary care physician or any treating specialist is able to make a referral to hospice. The hospice authorized agency will assess your eligibility for services. If you are in the hospital, you may ask your hospitalist or any other specialist for a hospice referral. And then what happens? A hospice nurse will reach out to you and, and or your family and make arrangements to meet with you either by phone or in person. During this meeting, he or she will be able to discuss eligibility, provide information, and receive more information about your medical situation. If you are eligible for services and wish to enroll, hospice care can often be started as soon as the next day. Summary. Hospice is a place, is not a place or a company. It is an insurance benefit. It is your right to receive this benefit if you meet eligibility. Hospice does not hasten death, nor does it artificially prolong life. It is an underutilized insurance benefit that may align with your goals. Informational referrals are often helpful and help alleviate fear. It lets you and your family receive the support and the care you need and deserve. Contact us. If you have questions or would like further to further explore the hospice insurance benefit, please feel free to reach out. I have placed our contact information on this screen for Michelle Jackson and myself, Patricia Tolbert, of the Palliative Team at Grant Medical Center. Thank you.